beautiful wavy and curlies and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I am going to be sharing some tips with you on how to do the curly girl method on a budget and I will be washing my hair following those tips. It's a bit hard to explain so let's just jump right into it. Tip number one is looking out for discount codes and for this tip I am using the Keratin Shampoo as I have a discount code which is Wavy Jess and I have more discount codes in the description box. Of course you are not obliged to just use my discount codes if you follow any curly hair brand on Instagram or Facebook or your favourite curly hair influencers then you will often see discount codes of popular brands that you can take advantage of and use to get yourself a discount while also supporting your favorite curly hair gurus. Of course using discount codes isn't going to save you a ton of money but it is going to help and a little something is something. <laughs> now for tip number two this may not apply to everybody and that is gifted products. So I started my wavy hair Instagram just to document my progress and I wanted to see how my hair transformed over time and if you've done the same I don't know when you're around 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers you may be lucky enough that a brand reaches out and wants to give you their products again this doesn't apply to everybody so for this step I am using the pretty curly girl new conditioner it is called bye bye tangles and knots conditioner and I am using this brand because it's very near and dear to my heart it was one of the first brands that reached out to me to give me their products when my Instagram only had I don't know about 2,000 followers and now I'm at 12,000 which is insane so I think it's really near and dear to me because it felt like she believed in me when my account was only small and I was only just starting to take my Instagram a bit more seriously and I really really put this conditioner to the test I don't know if you can tell in the video just how knotty my hair is I haven't watched it in a week and my hair gets knotted and tangled really really easily and today usually I will let my conditioners soak in while I wash my body but today I didn't do that. I just applied it and started detangling and oh my god it detangled so so quickly without even letting it soak into my hair. So my first impression is I love it. <laughs> so anyway that's me pouring my heart out about the brand. <laughs> for tip number three that is looking out for sample sizes or travel sizes especially because curly hair brands can be quite pricey and we all know how fussy our hair can be sometimes so it is a fantastic way to be able to try out a product before committing to buying the full size and obviously travel size will be cheaper than buying the full size and usually this way you can buy their whole line of products sometimes and so for this tip I'm using the Buclem Curl Cream in their travel size. You may even be able to find other brands that offer samples such as I know Jessie Curl do. I think they're free if I remember rightly or they're not very expensive and you just have to pay shipping. Of course if you don't live in the United States like me shipping can add up to like 40 euros I think it was when I looked into it. <laughs> My next tip is entering giveaways and I won this brush in a giveaway. I made a whole video on my tips on how to enter giveaways and increase your chances in the giveaway so make sure to check that out and this is a great way to try new products for free and usually when you enter giveaways you don't have to pay shipping either so it's a good way to save a small fortune honestly if you get lucky and win. <laughs> you can find giveaways being run by influencers or even your favorite curly hair brands themselves usually on Instagram is a very popular place for giveaways. I hold giveaways myself from time to time so be sure to follow me on IG so that you don't miss any giveaways. Next up is DIY recipes. Now just a disclaimer if you make DIY recipes obviously these aren't regulated by guidelines so make sure that it's just for personal use only. For this step I am using DIY flaxseed gel. I love this. My hair absolutely loves flaxseed gel. I always get great results with it and I love this recipe because 
because flax seeds are so so cheap and they're easy to find I imagine anywhere in the world correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> it's really easy to make too I also have a hack on how to make it if you're aware of DIY flaxseed gel you know that it can be a bit messy I'm very lazy I found a hack to make my life so much easier if you would like a video on that let me know please in the comments I love flaxseed gel because it adds shine it gives me really good hold despite being a DIY recipe which is surprising my product for my next step falls under two categories the first being supermarket approved products now obviously I live in Spain so a lot of you watching this may not have access to this gel but if you join curly hair groups for your country on Facebook usually they will have a load of products that are approved and easily accessible in your local supermarket and when I actually started taking care of my hair I would use supermarket brands because it's cheap and easy to find this gel my best friend Sanya actually gave to me because unfortunately it didn't work for her hair and I swapped with her a mousse that I had that didn't work for my hair which leads me on to the next tip which is swap and sell groups these may not be available in every single country but I know that in the US and in the UK they're really really popular it's a good way to try out a product cheaper than buying it new or it's a good way to swap products that didn't work for you with somebody else who maybe has a product that didn't work for them and my last kind of tip or advice really is that you don't need to buy all the expensive products to have a good hair day you can see I've used a cocktail of different products some of them being expensive I've used a supermarket brand a DIY recipe we'll see how this turns out in a minute I'm going to diffuse it so far when it's wet it's looking really pretty I'm currently really happy with this so yeah I'm off to diffuse I'm so excited and my last tip I am using righteous roots oils which I wanted to give away but it was a subscription box giveaway so that's my next tip for saving money is look into subscription boxes I'm not sure how popular these are elsewhere but I know that in Europe right now they seem to be really really popular examples are lock and box curly box so this is another way to try out new products and save money and I think as well with subscription boxes usually it's a surprise what you're getting from month to month so that's exciting okay wow <laughs> oh my god I'm blown away <laughs> oh wow this is like probably one of my favorite wash days in the wild results using a cocktail of different products different brands and it was a success yay <laughs> I feel like I've got some nice to it I've got really nice definition look at this shrinkage it goes like past my boob <laughs> so this just goes to show that you do not need to use the most expensive brands out there. You can get decent results even if you just use a DIY flaxseed gel or even if you use a supermarket brand gel you can still get really good results and actually I'm I'm quite surprised at today's results well I'm happy with today's wash day I'm really glad that I've had a good wash day comment down below what you think of today's hair hello we are on day two hair and what do we think I think it's held up quite well I've got volume I've still got some definition so this is looking pretty acceptable in my eyes all I did was take it down this morning and fluff it and 
here I am. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and filming it and putting it together. I really hope that you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so, so much for being here. Make sure to hit that like button so I know that you enjoyed this video. And if you found the tips helpful, subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I am bursting with ideas. I've got so many videos planned and not enough time to film them. <laughs> And of course, I am always open to any suggestions, any requests, anything that you need help with or anything that you're struggling with. Okay, bye.